Welcome back to my channel. Today we do the installation guide and the long awaited wiring diagram for the Savaton controller all running at 78 volts. So you have 17 cells in the Super Seiko battery, two cells to the extended pack that I've made. We have the XT60 mod, XT60 positive comes out, goes up into here through the shunt through here and then into here and then goes off to the circuit breaker now negative side of the battery comes out comes through here goes into this cable which then runs down down the back here I'll pull this cable into this XT90 connector and then comes through to here, goes to the positive side of the battery, runs through the back, it then goes back to the negative side of the battery, runs back through, back up here, and then goes into here, goes into the negative side, and goes through the shunt, up through here, into the wiring loom, onto the controllers. Seven cells, six cells, six cells, two cells, and two cells on, on, two cells on the other side of the bike as well. It's certainly not going anywhere, and um, the weight's balanced, and I'll get two extra cells. Seventy eight point one volt. I originally cut away this bottom bracket to fit in extra batteries. Now I've relocated the batteries to the second battery box and um, and I've been going to install the sapaton here. I found you didn't really need these um, extra brackets. It seemed to be fairly secure by itself. I've done over a 200 miles, no movement, all good. Here you can see us wiring up the sensor wires. I've um, taken the sensor wires from the Savaton and um, spliced in another connector so that I can send three cables of the uh, five volt green hall sensor, yellow hall sensor and blue hall sensor up to the original Super Soco controller. Uh, that way it will it will tell the controller how fast the wheel is spinning. So you get speedo and mileometer. This is the Sabaton cable for the throttle throttle connector on, on top of the handlebars. I had an old waterproof connector, which I then uh, put some uh, straight connectors on the end so that I could then slide them in to the original fitment. The connectors are 5 volt positive, 5 volt negative, and the voltage signal wire going back to the controller. Next we have the three main phase wires going to the motor yeah. are blue, yellow and green. You may have to drill them out a little bit so it can take the screws of the Savaton controller. And finally, the complete wiring diagram. Thanks for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it's completely free.